Hi, this is Mark with HowToWindows.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows using a flash drive. Firstly, you will need the install file for Windows. I'll be using Windows 7. Insert the CD into the drive and make sure it loads as a Windows disk. Also plug in your flash drive so that it is ready to be used. Next, open command prompt by typing in CMD in the start search. Click command prompt and type in disk part. Once disk part loads, type in list disk. You will now see all available storage drives in your computer. Find the USB drive by looking at the size and matching it up in the computer menu. The disk I want to use is disk 2, so now type in select disk 2 to tell the computer you want to only make changes to disk 2. Once it's selected, let's do a quick cleaning. Type in clean. Now let's tell the computer that we want this disk to be a primary partition. To do this, type in create partition primary. Now we are going to tell the computer that we only want to make changes to the primary partition of the drive we just created. So type in select partition 1. Now let's mark the partition as active. Type in active. Now we're going to format the drive as either NTFS or FAT32. I choose NTFS because I personally like it better. This part is sped up at 10,000% to show you that this can take time. At the bottom, the time is in minutes. Once it is completed formatting, we will now tell the computer to assign the drive a letter. Let's do this by typing in Assign. The computer will now auto-run the newly created drive, Remember the Drive Letter. Now we want to exit the disk part and go back to the regular command prompt menu. We're going to tell the computer to copy everything that is on the CD to the drive we just created by typing in the following. Once again, this takes time. I started this about 14 to 15 minutes into my recording, and it finished 10 minutes later. Make sure you're getting a number, if not exactly, then close to my number of 876. You may now exit command prompt, and when you take the drive out and put it back in, the computer will now know it is an install disk for Windows. If you're not sure what to do right now, then check out our part 2. 